Yo, 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 it's your girl Fantastic, a.k.a. Tasha. El Boogie minus the hoodie. What's poppin'? It's Wednesday. It's hump day. What today is, El? Wednesday. No, what day is? Hump day. You're supposed to say, what day is it? What day is it? Hump day! I know, corny mom that was, joke. That was a mom joke. That was a mom joke. That was an aunt joke that right there. Joke. That was a serious aunt joke. <laughs> that was an aunt joke. Oh my God, I'm tired. What's happening today? I mean, it's just Wednesday. Nothing really popping off. I can't wait till the weekend. They don't be I'm not doing nothing. I, I, on I actually, I'm not even talking about shit I'm doing on the weekend. Please so don't more. talk about. I'm not. Every time you mention what you're going to do this weekend, I'm just going to do me this weekend as always. But you know, I get beautified on a Friday. For what? Say no. For me. For me, baby. For me. Get my hair did. Get my nails redone. Say, say that money. Why should I? You ain't going nowhere. So what? I, if I that makes me feel good. I work my ass save off. Save some now, money. I'm still gonna save money, but I mean that money. That's for me and my me to be happy. If you save the money you spend on hair and nails. I go. I get my hair done once you a month. You can get that Tesla you've been dreaming Bye, about. Bye, boy. <laughs> I'll be where I'll, I'll be forever. You can get that Tesla. No, I did. Too. I was talking to a friend today. I was like, "You know how much Starbucks I had last year and this year from like the store? Every I could have definitely had a car. You could have. I could have. Every you know, day. But see, yeah, home. I was coming home with a Starbucks coffee. That's about a good seven dollars. And I'm doing. If I got a breakfast sandwich, I'm almost close to fifteen. So that's right. almost like fifteen dollars a day. Add that up. Well, that's. But that's, that's why I don't eat out like 30, I used 60. to. Damn, thirty, sixty. It's definitely overnight. Seventy-five dollars. Yeah. If the if the price is right. Yeah. Five days a week. Oh my God. That's too much. Well, that's why I don't I don't have a car no more, so I can't go there. I I go to the market. So where's that big money? Jug. Well, I just played catch up with a lot of my bills, remember? So, because of my trip. And then my friend was trying to get me to go on another trip. <laughs> like, about at the end of the month? You saw that? Yeah. At the end of the month, I was like, I just kind of ignored it. Cause I know, I noticed that. Space. I noticed that. But I was like, I was like, yo, I can't go on no trips right now. I'm like, yo, I like, I'm trying to move. You know, that's and what I you do want. I, 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 yeah, on. that's my focus right now is moving. I'm like, if I don't go on any trips this year, like I don't think I'm going on the Vegas trip at the end. That's not a priority. See, the Afro is fine. The, my Afro is not fine. Your natural Afro. But I want to feel good. I want to feel pretty. And I work my behind off. I should be able to treat myself to something. Nobody wants to be working and just paying bills for the rest of their life. You want to treat You're yourself. You're going to be something. working and paying bills the rest of their life. I understand that, but I'm just still saying you still should treat yourself. And my if my nails make me feel pretty and my hair makes Nail me feel pretty. Nail polish remover. Don't work like that. You got to get refills. L, these are fake nails. Well, grow your own. I'm a nail biter. That's, 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 why, that's why I get nails, Ew. because I was a nail biter. What? I always was, I had bad nerves. I hope you wash your hands. Of course I wash my hands a lot. Mm. When you a nail biter, you, you got to or you get really sick. You can get yeah. sick. Mm, I, that I Big Mac I had Thursday. No, <laughs> it would never be under my nail. But I would chew my I would chew my nails down low. Like that's really. nerves. It was bad. I had bad nerves, and that's well, why. I and I'm and I, I'm glad I got over that, and I can get my nails done. And what I don't chew on them like I used to. I used to chew on the nail polish, and so you don't need a refill. Listen, to what I'm saying. You take the polish off. And repolishing yourself, you take that money that you would have spent to get your nails done. So why don't I need a refill? Why don't I? Why need do you need a refill? Because they grow, and it, it, the, the more they grow, they will just break off, and they can take your nail off. So, yeah, I my nails are not long enough to do the bad bitch hand move. Okay, whatever you say. I'm just trying yeah, to like I, it's not like I'm, I'm not shopping. Too. You are literally shopping. But I'm not. I'm not. It's not like I'm going to buy a new pair of shoes or some so clothes. So the nails make you feel good. It makes. Yes, it's for me. I'm not. Who else am I doing it for? I'm single. Fuck. I'm not doing it for. And men, be, men, men do not look at nails. I was going to say, we could care less. No, they, they care less. They care less about nails, hair. They will care about toes. We care about hair. Don't get that. What, but you want me to wear my hair just like this. 
That's fun. I need to replace it's a, it's, it. It's like a nice little sideshow Bob look. It's it's nice. It's, it's, it's time. And you know I had, who sideshow Bob is? I get it once a month. You know who sideshow Bob is? No, I don't. Watch The Simpsons. You're, I don't. Like, I never liked The Simpsons. Sideshow Bob look. But I, you know, I go once. You say a month. you being celibate. Nobody's. You say you. Cut Why can't I look off. good for me? I'm not looking good for no fucking man. I'm looking good for myself. If that makes me feel like a ten. Get my hair and my nails done. I'm gonna be that ten in my house. I feel like a ten all the time. I, I feel like a ten. I'm a ten all the time. I'm, I don't need to have a hair. Today cut. I'm gonna say um, I'm more like an eight and a half. You know, just today. Lower. lower. For you? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> For you? Sure. For me, I'm lower than an eight and a half. Oh yeah, today. How you in Philly with that piece of still a shirt, huh? The Pittsburgh still yeah, a shirt? What's the Pittsburgh? Who's drinking water? Is that a new country? Pittsburgh? <laughs> Pittsburgh. New, new... Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. What about it? Yeah, you in Philly though. Eagles over here, you mofo. I'll give you $10 right now. $10 <laughs> right now. <laughs> Name one person on the Eagles. Right now, $10. Damn. And you from Philly. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what? Come on. Tom one Brady. person. Tom Brady? You're right. Let me give you $10. No, he's not. You're damn right he's not. I'm not, but see, I knew that. Eagle, Eagles over here. We're, okay, what team does Tom Brady pay for? Dolphins, right? Right, right, okay. Name my 10. Huh? My 10. You don't fucking play for the <laughs> Dolphins. <laughs> Is there even a team called the Dolphins? Oh, my God. <laughs> You leave, know I don't watch football. Leave sports alone, please. You know I don't like sports. Leave that lane alone. It's it's getting that, worse. I don't like sports and I don't like game, video games. Those, those are the two things I'm not interested in. Oh, you can't play neither one. I can play some Mortal Kombat now. What sport did you play? What sport? Yeah. I, I didn't play any. You didn't play volleyball? Nope. Softball? No. Play Hardball? Dodgeball. Play dodgeball. But they always got me. That ain't no sport. <laughs> That's a court. suicide mission. <laughs> People be aiming for your head. Yeah, they do. They do. No, uh, I used to play ten in high school. I tried out for tennis. Mm -hmm. I, I tried out. Okay. It was a lot of tr it was a lot of work and training, and I wasn't up for it. Yeah, Lee, I think you need to leave sports. You I don't know, like you got sports. Tom Brady in the. How? Who's your basketball team? I don't have a basketball team. I don't watch basketball either. What's the name of the team in this city? Oh, the Seventy Sixers. I would have got up and left if you didn't. Yeah, you got that. the Flyers for the for the hockey. Mm -hmm. And then baseball, you got the Phillies. You know, well, you've seen the news everywhere. To the no, I'm from Philly. Like, I know the teams. I just don't fucking know who won them. I don't, I'm not into sports. I'm not, I'm sorry. And I'm not that girl that's going to act like I'm into this. You need shit. to be that girl. Damn, so you can get you a why? Man. I got to do that? So you can get you a man. He got to watch the he'll notebook. He'll be turned with on. He'll watch the notebook. He got to watch the notebook with me. The best sleep he, he ever got. No, he can't sleep because I'm going to sleep at the game. I glue my eyelids over. I'm going to be like, hey, yeah, what inning is this? <laughs> at the basketball game? That, if he take me to baseball, we done. It's not going to work. Like, that, that's the uh, longest how game How many ever. quarters is in the baseball game? Yeah, like nine. Nine quarters? Is it? I don't know. It is. Oh, okay. Well, it's only four courts in, in basketball. Well. And football. Well. Unless they go into halftime. Basketball and football. Have quarters. Baseball has innings. That was a trick question. Okay, whatever. Innings, nine innings. Yay. You were right, though. I don't know nothing about uh, hockey. Don't ask me that. That would be my luck to be the guy who like hot. <laughs> what the? Fuck? They have three periods. I don't. I don't know. I don't know nothing about that. Like if I, it would be I'm my trying luck. to educate. It you. would be a, my luck to be the guy who like hockey. And you'd be right there over on the ice cheering, not even rooting for the wrong team. Yeah, you be out there. Yeah. You think I would actually do all that to impress that guy? You would. Come on, Tosh. Stop Get acting like you just this self righteous woman's leg. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Shakur, a Feeney Johnson. Get the fuck out of here. You're not. You, you're an asshole. You ain't this big righteous. You'll be right there with a fire hat on. I know you do got a lot of women that change for men. 
They will like like what he likes, even though they don't like it. That's part of a relationship. Is it? Or is it her trying to get him to like her? Because you do got some girls that do that too. They do things for the guy to like them. You think guys like loving hip hop and stuff like that? And he ain't gonna watch it. You know, I used to go to plays. You know, I used to go to plays. I used to go to hair shows. I used to go to all those things. And it's called being, when you're in a relationship, you try to relate to what your mate is related to. Yeah, but to. half the time you don't. You don't like it anymore. My wife used to go to Fat Tuesdays and watch the football game. And by the half time when the wings and the drinks is going, she like, oh, what time is it? Oh, it's funny, y'all. When, when I seen a woman after the first quarter, um, she was down at the bar with her boyfriend. She was like, man, this game went quick. He was like, babe, it's only the end of the first quarter. There's three more of these? Well, it's like y'all when we go shopping. Y'all don't like going shopping with us. Why don't we like going shopping? <laughs> we want to try stuff on and we want to see what you, you think about it. You put a shoe on, it. right? What you and I say, that shoe looks nice. Okay. You put the fucking shoe back in the box <laughs> and say, let me try this one. Now, I said I like that one. It's but you don't believe shoe. in what I said. Same shoe, different You don't color. believe in what I said, so you go ask him to go get another one. 30 shoes later, and I'm ready to get the room. Yeah, but we were sitting here taking y'all to a lingerie store to try shit on. Y'all would love it. Well, y'all not going to try nothing on. But we can't do that now. In the lingerie store. Yeah. But we, how many of y'all actually, come on, ladies, how many of y'all go to the lingerie store? Well, I order my stuff online. Well, you don't go to the store. That's what I'm saying. Well, I mean, they don't have my size what? in the store. You know, Tori don't. Why are you ordering lingerie? Because I was, you know, getting prepared <laughs> for the future. I don't know. For some reason, I woke up one day and I was like, I just want to have options in lingerie. Mm. And sometimes, you know, I take a nice bath. I put something on, and I put I put my lights on, drink some wine. Listen to some music. Pluck the bean. I gotta romance myself. I can't Pluck just. I can't just expect her to red be ready. <laughs> you know she. Can. Oh my God! <laughs> big moving. Big, I gotta. Right. I gotta woo big per too. Like you know. Oh my God! Moving <laughs> right along. Big per need to be wooed, right, girl? I know, right? You buy lingerie too. No, I buy. I bought. I bought well, you know. Still got, with yourself. I mean, why not? It's something to get comfortable in. I and I and I do photo shoots in the in my, history of men. And I and I buy and I do photo shoots in my bedroom. Like for with, yourself. Yeah, for myself. No, I mean, don't. that's for your spank bank when you when you meet a guy, you send him that random pic. <laughs> no, I'm not that doing that shit no more because they don't they don't delete that shit. They keep them. <laughs> I remember when you shoot you a little picture picture every now and then. Uh huh. No, no, no. But mm -hmm. it's also, you do it for thirst traps. Guy, yep, see? Hey, but see, you'll never in the history of guide them, or no guys that I know, will sit there, and, and this they is don't. why we won't do it, because you're getting ready to laugh. No guy will sit there and go buy himself a thong to sit in the living room and watch the Sixers game or some <laughs> some shit that we like. Like, you just, you just no, ran this. No, listen. Too. No, no. But listen, you run that whole story down about buying lingerie to light candles and put your little lights on your mood light on and have your wine. No guy is going to put on a thong, pop a can of beer, and put the game on and have fun with you himself. You got men out here that like to wear women lingerie, so you don't know what they do in the I, the the, Okay, so now we have the question. Is that a man you just, uh, what are you talking about? It could be a fetish. It could be a fetish. Like, some men like to wear women underwear, even though they men. Do you know any? I don't know any. I don't. In upstate? I don't know any. Okay. I will, I will give them that. But, they, you know, you do, upstate do like to send, like, shower, shower Okay. Videos. Let's get to these um, cards. I think you go, you go They thought first. that shit was sexy. Uh then I added the kitty G to it. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh god, I'm laughing down now. It's not. I can't help Thumb and Louise. Time to Thumb get in the car. <laughs> 
Delamont. Talking Italy. about March and Pay. From the temple? Yes. The um. Temple. They got smokers. They got smokers go. <laughs> you what? Have a mental block. Let's pick a card, any card. Based on that Jolly Rancher. Uh oh, it's kicking in. <laughs> Forgiveness. <laughs> Something we all need help with. I need a lot of help. That's why I'm in therapy. Forgiveness. Forgiveness is hard. Because I hold grudges. I do. I admit that. I hold grudges and I can hold them for 20 years. But I, why? I don't think I hold them. It's like I suppress them. But it's like, I just like, I still got nothing to say. Like, but, but am I supposed to say it out loud? Saying, obviously, I'm not, I'm, li I'm moving on, living my life and stuff like that. So I'm not feeling like stuck for real, for real. So it's like, but it's like, all right, mentally, I, f I forgive you or I forget about it. Well, I'll say this. Forgiveness is something that's very hard. And I'm going to tell you why it's hard. Because if you do something egregious to me, right? Ooh, that's a nice word. And you're, what, egregious? Right, egregious. And you apologize for it and then do it again. Mm -hmm. Like, how? how, what's the level of forgiveness that you can give a person? Like to over like like if you're in a, a relationship with a guy, he beats on you, yeah. and he says I'm sorry, and you forgive him, and he does it again, yeah. and you said I'm and he apologized. Really so forgiveness is something that shouldn't be something that is done over and over and over. Well, and over everybody and also does not, but and then you don't have to tell you don't need to tell a person you forgive them. You just mentally do it yourself. You don't have to tell them like no. no but I people want to hear that I'm sorry. But, but but you know it ain't shit. People want to hear the I'm sorry. But it ain't shit. Okay, but forgiveness isn't always. Uh, when you get into religions, forgiveness isn't always always for the person. It's for yourself. It's, it's for yourself and God as well. Yes. So because he, you know, that is the God forgives us every day for our thoughts. Like you could be with like like a co-host and want to choke the shit out of him. And then God forgives you for your thoughts because your thoughts might be, you know, amazing. Your thoughts may be, you know, bad thoughts or, or egregious, as I said. So forgiveness is really a tough thing. I just hate when someone asks, you know, says they forgive you, and they truly did. And I don't think a person should hold something over someone's head. Forever, unless they continue to keep doing the same yeah. things okay. over and over, like you know, you know, like you might say forgiving your sister, but if the th why you look south, you need to forgive your sister. Now, if the same things has happened over and over, then some at some point someone's not worthy of your forgiveness. Well, I you know just made I mean? a conscious decision. That I have to pull back my energy from that, you know, because if because it, it's been forever, you know, it's been forever. It's, it's always they do something. I'm sorry. And the thing that I hate the most, those people that like to just throw the I'm sorry out there, they literally forget the next fucking day after they do something. It's like it never happened to them. Well, that's because you don't use my term. When someone says, I'm sorry, you say, I agree. I did say that. Yeah, yeah I agree. I said, yeah, yeah, I agree. agree. You are sorry. Yeah, and then they'll, they'll, they won't be so conscious to say, I'm sorry, without feeling um, like I'm going to do it again. They'll make a conscious effort to try not to do it again because they look like a buffoon mm -hmm. apologizing for something that they don't apologize 17 yeah, times not. but they don't prior. but if they're not all there they not gonna care whether they apologize or the same thing with an abusive man he know he whooped your ass and put you in the hospital oh and God. he sat here and said i'm sorry and you took him back mm -hmm. and he did it again he's not gonna change so you should have sent his ass to jail and said i'm sorry yes but that's when, you, when you're a victim of 
But when you're a victim of like Maybe. abuse. I'm sorry. When you're, you're yeah. You already in there? When you're a victim of abuse, you know, it's kinda it's probably hard for a lot of women to leave. It's, you know, especially if like you always tell me what other stuff when kids are involved. You know? It is hard when there's kids involved. Yeah, it's hard um, when kids involved. It's just hard, period. And if you've been in a situation where you were traumatized, it takes time. It, it just takes time. But I do think you should leave, like, an abusive relationship 100%. Like, if you got to start over, you got to start over. You know, you got to start over. Now, forgiveness, I feel like some people don't deserve forgiveness. True. Some people can just go straight to hell. Fact. It's going to be a lot of people at that barbecue. Sure enough is. Some people are wasting a lot of Sundays. Be right on the escalator. Come. Sister Johnson. I go to church. I ain't know you. Church ain't, uh, church ain't going to take you to I'm heaven. Not a, I'm not church a is not, does not guarantee you a I, slot I don't in go, heaven. I don't intentionally go and Sister hurt Sister Johnson. I don't, I don't intentionally go to hurt people, though. You got some people out there that intentionally want to hurt people. So yeah, those are the people you can give them. You can forgive them for yourself and mm -hmm. move on with your life and do you, mm -hmm. and just know that God will handle them the best way He can because God sees all and He hears all. He knows all. Mm -hmm. And I would just hate to be around that around people when it comes to karma. Because karma, it could be some. Life for death situation kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. So um, that's why I say beware on how you treat people. So you Facts. don't have to ask for forgiveness. But sometimes emotion. Sometimes we we, we act on emotion. True. And 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 sometimes we say things that without thought mm -hmm. that require forgiveness because especially in this texting age, I might text you like. Um, you know, something yeah, simple. Yeah, but sometimes, how do you even know? How do you, how can you really believe that? Faith. Faith. Mm -hmm. You ever get a text? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so, um, forgiveness is definitely, it's important for you if you want to move on and, like, forget something never happened to you. And just like, or get to the point where you can laugh about it and crack jokes about it and instead of crying about it, you know. Uh -huh. You forgive that person for yourself. No no one else but for right. yourself. You ain't got to, and then you, and, now, and a lot of people think they need closure. You don't need that either. Oh. Really? You, no, because, I mean, they, they showed you who they are. And it's time for you to accept it. To accept well, it. I mean, how many, like I said before. Like, how many times can you ask forgiveness for the same thing over and over? Well, again? no, it's just, you got some people out here that really don't think they should stink. And you got some people out here that feel like, I'm I, I'm going to get away with it. Because they got, if you get away with something so long, if you robbing banks for so long, and then finally you get, it's going to happen. So you just say sorry. It's just going to happen. You, I mean, you got some people that are just too shit and shit to say sorry. So. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mm, that's okay. I'll, I'll be scared too. Why would you be scared to say sorry? No, I would, I would be scared to say sorry to me if I was somebody else. Oh my God, man. I would. Because honestly, I still don't trust myself. <laughs> I still don't trust myself. <laughs> I still be like... <laughs> why? I don't know. Yo, because we, we had this discussion on why. Why what, L? Go ahead. What? By guns. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, I want to wave the white flag, though. I will give you that. Yeah. That's wave, this is wave the white flag. You live your life and I live mine. Well, you've been living it. Right. That's you know? my whole... And I've been living mine. But, um, you know, thank you for the trauma, you know? No. Thanks thank for that. Thank you for the lesson. No, thanks for the lesson in the trauma and anxiety. Because I, I never had that shit before. For no trauma. I never, I never I ain't had never that thanking shit. nobody for no trauma. Because the trauma could have ended a different way if you if you weren't so in a good headspace. So never thank nobody. Oh for well, trauma. I've been the worst. But that was just like. If you was in a car accident, 
and your leg was where your arm was and your arm was where your leg, are you going to go to the drunk driver and say, hey, thanks to the driver, bro? No, but you're going to be probably bitter for a while. Well, are you going to be thankful for... No, I don't even want to talk to that motherfucker. Right. I'll be right in hell. See? And I'll be right in jail. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's hard for some people to forgive, forgive because it depends on what caliber of pain you cause someone. Mm -hmm. You know, if you trust, especially if you if it was someone you trusted, and you thought they were trustworthy. So. Anyhow, moving right along. It's my turn. We all need to have for, learn forgiveness. Forgiveness. We have to forgive ourselves sometimes. Yes, too. and that that's another thing too. Like yeah. it's hard to like me. I will say it's definitely hard for me. To forgive myself for some of the decisions I have made in my life. Mm -hmm. But I'm working on it. One thing I can say, I'm working on my shit. Every day. Non-stop. And it is... What do you mean you leave me that look for it? I haven't seen anything. I'm working on me. I've been working on me. I've been working on me. I need to learn to love myself. No, I don't mind no help. Hmm, I'd rather do it myself. Keep your day job. <laughs> I know. Excuse me. Excuse I know. Me. Keep my day job. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, is it the chair? Oh, Let's get rid of these red ones. Huh? I just got rid of it too. Netflix versus Hulu. I just got rid of Netflix. They we did that one, didn't we? Oh, no, no, we, we got didn't. Netflix and chill. We had the oh Netflix and chill. This is Netflix versus Hulu. I heard a lot of people like Hulu. Netflix ain't got nothing on it. I just canceled my twenty two dollars subscription. They were ridiculous on that one. Netflix is twenty two dollars. Yes. Uh, that's the, a, that's why they gotta had to go. You can be in a book club for that. They, I mean, I, that it, I, I, I watch everything I need to watch on there. I cut it off, and and you know I got BT Plus now. Well, and stars. And don't Prime. Hulu play more TV series? They do. Than, than movies, but so I don't you think still gotta. It's, it's some movies on Hulu, but you got commercials. You gotta pay for like I think ten dollars if you don't want ads. Oh, that's like, what's that, Tubi or whatever? You got to deal with the mm -hmm, ad, the commercial. Yeah. Just tell me, I, don't I don't like a commercial. Nobody wants to watch a commercial. Gee, I got to get my beard. Say that again. My beard wet. Oh, my it's God. Coming in this is This is where things go left. Why is she talking like she's no, the bearded lady? At the circus. I feel the, I feel that it. is very. I just shaved two days ago. Too. I did not need to know that. I want to know that. Friday. Oh my god! <laughs> it, this is a Netflix special right here. Oh my what? god! What? I'm honest. Like yes, I have facial hair. I get a mustache sometimes. Yeah. That's where all this roughneck hormonal shit comes from. Let it grow in. It get patchy. Get a good. Be like this. It's patchy. It don't get so it can be the right. Mars versus Mars. It don't. Uh, I should. One month I should. Just no, you from. don't. Where you know that? Uh, but it's weird because it, it only comes right right here. The hair. It it be nowhere else. And then I get some. I get a mustache. But it be like these two patches of of hair. Oh my god. And I and sweet. I see women that walk with that. Like they live with it. And they but they let it grow in so they get the wax. I don't have the balls to do that. Unfortunately, I had an aunt that had a little light mustache, <clears throat> but what she used to do is take um, hydrogen peroxide, mm -hmm. which would make it tan. She was like my complexion, so it would take the dark color out of it, and it would you, you couldn't really see it that well above her complexion. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want to cut it, at least it tint it. Because you got to get it out from the root. When you shave it, you're not getting the root, and it's still going to grow mm -hmm. in. So you, when you wax it, they rip. The root out, and, mm. it, and it takes about it, it lasts about a week, but when you shave, it only lasts two days. Steve Harvey, I don't know how we got from Netflix. I don't know how we got Hulu there either. To you I, just was, I just was feeling my chin, and I was like, "You don't know how to chin it." I don't like hygiene. that feeling. I just don't like that feeling. Cause I mean, imagine you had a dude, hey babe. He what like, imagine I had a dude? No, imagine I had a dude, oh. and I, he like he grabbed my face. He like, oh damn. 
I'm like, oh no, I know I got a shame. Hey, when you wear your hair, can't stop and get some razors. Some Gillette razors. <laughs> I know. I used the handheld. I drive handheld right joint. by your house. Mm. I used the handheld joint. Mm, mm, mm. Get the hair store. Back to oh my god. Back to Hulu. I don't watch Netflix. Hulu. Um, but I do like Netflix. Netflix got some good stuff on it. Some good movies. Three sixty five. Bridgerton. Like I like Netflix. Like good stuff. 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 I can't be the authority on this because I'm not a, a television watcher. Yes, he is not. I don't watch. Te- you know why? I don't watch television because, like, when you're going through things like a relationship thing, or uh, <laughs> find- did you just fucking go into not, my segment? As I was saying, ignorance. Go shave. <laughs> anyway, um, as I was saying, <laughs> I made me lose my train of thought. You don't watch TV. Oh, as I was saying, I don't watch television because it programs. If you're going through something in a relationship, you start to relate your relationship with what you're seeing on TV. I don't definitely don't watch reality TV because if you spend the time watching what other people are doing in their lives, you could be doing something productive in your own lives. Waste of time. So I just that's just me. I don't have nothing against people who do watch television i don't watch television anymore very unless it's the news or sports i don't really watch it watch p valley so, well somebody tell me something on the watch p valley i watched the first season of p valley you watch uh, you watch your shows you like the grim you just that was saying, then i'm I think talking about i'm mature oh, oh, you don't watch i was it talking about oh, then okay. I, I don't i did used to watch television well maybe i'm just not there. i don't enjoy it anymore because uh, it's too many things that either i relate to or things that they're trying to interject into my well, mind that I don't agree with. Well, maybe I'm not that mature yet. No, it's things that I, I don't I agree with. Because I still like TV. Now, one thing I will say I have, like, and I really hate that I, it's, it's not the same anymore. It's music. I can't really listen to music like I used to. So I, I, can, get, I can get back. I can get into TV. Right. Um, like, I used to be a big Soft Park fan until they start playing with religion with the devil and Jesus and the devil beating Jesus up and they had some some kind of racy topics. I don't know topics. how that show is still on. Yeah, it's... <laughs> they still on, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know why. It's it's some, it's, those shows have some um, some ties to some um, other things. Yeah. I don't want them coming after me. Yeah. But I'm you know what I'm talking... Thank you. Uh, come get her. Please come get her. I'm already a part of it. You'll bring her back. The What's the air in? Yeah. He transferred it. Oh my god. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm um, just joking. Anyway. So yeah, me personally, I don't watch a lot of television because I just don't. Um, but Netflix is. It was a great invention when they, no, it wasn't. when they first came out. It was like what? I could just go to Netflix and watch any movie I want. I ain't gotta have a DVD collection in the corner now. Come on, let's be real. DVD collection would take space. Then you, it, it, but it's like the thing that sucked is like, what did you do with them? What did you do with them afterwards? You I still got, got a them? bunch of DVDs, man. I got rid of mine, my collection. And what'd you do with them? I gave them to somebody, like an oh. older guy that got a DVD player. Oh, you trying to be funny? Tell <laughs> an older guy with a DVD player. I'm just saying, I didn't have a DVD player, and I wasn't going to. Why sit don't here. you? Why I have? Uh, we have smart TVs now. You can put stuff on a flash drive, you know. Yeah, you always forget the flash drive, I swear. Mm-hmm. Every time, man. But yeah, you got flash drives. I mean, technology has evolved. Remember when you used to, remember uh, F- y- w- y- FYE? But FYW. FYE, the store. The music store. The yeah, remember when they Coconuts started? And FYE. Yeah, remember when they, when they had to, when they, you could go there and make a CD? I don't remember that. Oh, well, maybe that was, maybe me. When they used to have the computers. And you could go that you could actually put what songs you wanted, pay for them, and put them on the CD. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, it was too, but then it was like, okay, you don't need to do that no more. You can stream it. So, okay, so streaming, with, with streaming, you don't need the DVDs no more, Mm-mm. but you got to pay for it. You got to pay for the for movie. subscription. But you paying for the movie over and over again. Not, not for, I'm talking about with music wise but I'm like you don't you pay for a subscription for a music network and you can listen to any song you want 
which is probably coming out better. They want to buy a blank disc, doing this. Remember back in the day with the how people would do their voicemails? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, you, because they, we just had the radio. Yeah. And you would get that part. Like, yeah, what's up? This tone I ain't here right now. Leave a message at the beep and I'll call you back. Peace. Peace. Now put it back. <laughs> put it back. Oh, damn, that tells my age. <laughs> I had a Walkman back in the day. You still got one. I had a Walkman. I had a Walkman. You still be Walkman. And I remember around. when I used to have a portable DVD CD player. I, I mean, I had to put it like in my chest or my pocket and it would always skip. Because he walked. They had ones that were skip proof. Well, my five dad was. Second. I had the five skip. second skip. So. I, I always told him I wanted the Sony one that. The yellow one, the yellow one, Sony, Sony this man. Yeah, he never got it from me. So. But I had Walkman. <laughs> and the clip you clipped they it on the They did away with Walkmans and replaced them with iPods. Is it around with iPods? No, they did them? the CD players from the Walkman. Yeah, Walkman to CD players. CD players to... The iPods. iPods. iPods to stream. Right. Well, actually, you just got it on your phone now. So remember, yeah. you would have to have an iPod in a phone. And then when Nick started putting MP3 players on the phone, people MP3 was like, oh my player. God, right. MP3 player on my phone. I ain't, I ain't got to carry both of them. And then, mm -hmm. I mean, but it's amazing how technology has evolved all these years. So From good or from bad? To me, when it comes to social media and like, like I said, everyone's like really addicted to technology. Some people wouldn't even know how to survive without it. Yeah, but I, don't, I think technology. For, like, I know for, how to write. So, right. Yeah, well, we know how spell to write, check you know. is, is really kill people spelling. Yeah, math, you don't need your phone calculator. I used to know everybody in my whole area's telephone number. If you lose your cell phone, you're lost. Yeah. And well, you don't know my number. You don't you know, know number one. I know my mom's number by heart. That's it. <laughs> my grandmom's. Because they've been the same number same. since the 60s. Same. Right. I don't know nobody home number. I don't know nobody cell number. Yeah. Like, yeah, and then there's this new thing now where people yeah. don't, people don't like voicemails. Yeah, they don't, nobody can leave they, a they message. They don't, yeah, they, yeah, they can't leave a message. Everybody's hidden. That's what I'm saying. A secret shit. That secret shit. That secret shit. Or they, they hidden, they hide, they, they don't have a voicemail, or if you call it, it's full. I hate that one. <laughs> it's full. The mailbox you have called is full. For like, six years? <laughs> For six years? <laughs> you running from some bill collectors. That's what you're doing. No, I think, well, I think when people, especially guys, when they don't have a voicemail, they don't want to hear the chicks cussing them out. That's what it is. It don't matter. She's still going to leave that long ass message. If you don't, Bitch, don't, I know it's you. It's no voicemail. He, you can't. Oh, no voicemail yeah, at oh, all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She, she, she just pissed like, fuck, I can't be cussing out. Because you, know, you know girls do that back in the day. Yeah. They would call back and what, and then what I forgot to say. Mm -hmm. What I don't like with technology, you can't bang on nobody no more. You want to hang up, you just, no matter how hard you hit the hang up button, it's still going to go. <laughs> you You're like, bang. oh, really? Okay, well. And you go, boop, boop. You gotta do one of these joint. And then hang up. They get their fat. <laughs> they get that click. <laughs> but I, I will say this about technology, and I know we got off of Netflix and Hulu versus Hulu. But one thing I will say about technology that I don't like, it prevents people from communicating no more. It could be your birthday. You can get 75 Texas happy birthday. But for me, oh, the oh. only ones that really mean something is to pick the person to pick up the phone and call me. Like, yo, dog, happy birthday. That happy means birthday. everything. Texan, not, Texan has no feeling. Even though sometimes we take when somebody texts something, the heart, and it may not even mean what they're trying what to they convey. Trying to say, yeah. But uh, that, there's some there's some other things that's bad about. Look how many jobs technology is taking away from people. For Christ's sake, you go in McDonald's is a kiosk. You just punch in what you want yeah, and then walk over to the register to well, one person. Thing, like self checkout at the market. Self checkout. You know, everybody do what they sell. Robots is going to take over. Soon. I saw on, on um, the internet the other day this one store, Amazon store or something, mm -hmm. where you go in and you hit your QR code on there and you walk around and put the stuff in your cart. And 
walk to the register bag and leave and it calculates with the stuff that you took off mm -hmm. the shelf once you put it in the cart tell me like the same the, thing when you drop shit off at, at, the, at the amazon spot in the locker you know it's just like it's, 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 i think they think what they're trying to do is they're trying to make things more convenient for people they don't want to pay the rates. There's no health care with it, a computer. It isn't. It isn't. <laughs> and, but also, what's sad is that you have a lot of older people out here that don't know how to operate. Like, my god mom was telling me that she she has a flip phone. And she was like, I, <laughs> she's older. She's, she's, she's like in her 70s. A flip phone? She has a flip phone. And she's saying that Verizon's not making any more flip phones. So she's gonna have to get a smartphone. She's like, I'm gonna get it. And she's like, you wanted to come over one day and show me. Now, I don't have a problem doing that. That's my god, mom, I'll do anything for her. But when she said that, it kind of did a little tick me off. Only for the mere fact that teaching an old person technology can be um trying. Yes. Very, very much. Because they don't they will they don't even try. Now I believe Bernadette she would try. Mm -hmm. Now I know some other people Will you stop it? <laughs> that will just be like, I don't, I don't know what to do. Just just do it. Mm-hmm. Or somebody like that, hold her cash app or something like, okay, give me your phone. Send $50 to my phone. <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's why I say no, you that's, should. That's but cool. I mean, if you, no, my thing is you should never give access to a person and then piss them off because they can change your password. Yeah, sure. Every, yeah. Everything. Like, oh, no, no, who yes. needs you? No Netflix for you. Yep. Oh, you, you got to pay your bill? No Facebook, locked out. Locked out. Yeah, because, you know, people petty. And I know I'm I'm the pettiest of all. I, I'm, I'm all about changing passwords. Oh, you ain't going to be watching P-Valley no more, motherfucker. Not on my prom video. <laughs> it's so sad. It's so sad. I don't want to be that way. Petty should have been one. Of, I think it might have been one of our topics at one time. No, it, no, we didn't get it yet. No, okay, because you are the queen of petty. You think I am? No. At I'm times. Not. No, I'm not. When you scorn, you get petty. That, yeah, well, it's nothing like a woman scorn. Come on. That's, come on. He knows I'm just, I'm just joking, bro. I'm just joking. Okay. I mean, I'm just joking. I mean, yeah, I'm fucking hurt and I'm scorn, but. It, hey, I, I told him. I told him that. I was like, hey, if you hear shit, nothing personal, just business. <laughs> so, just, just say no. Business. I mean, if you feel uncomfortable with the joke or what I say, it must mm, be some truth. It must it. be some truth to it. I mean, you can sit there and people can sit there and punk fake all they want. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my God. Because it's not like a liar. They get backed up against the wall. How would you know? You're the only person on the earth that don't lie. I'm not going to say I don't lie, but I mean, I'm not a, a habitual liar. I don't lie to hurt people personally. Because I'm sorry, I don't believe people just, just do some shit like that. You know, they don't know what they're doing. They know what the fuck they're doing. So, let me ask you this. You <laughs> So, you think, because basically you're saying there's levels to lie. So, if you say a I mean, lie, that, bad period, listen yo. to what I'm just saying, because I'm listening to what you okay. said. You said you don't lie to hurt people. No. This, that, and the other. So, what I'm saying, I'm asking the question I'm asking is, so what you're saying, there's levels to lying. That if you lie to not to hurt somebody, it's okay. But if you lie to hurt somebody, it's bad. Is that what you're saying? So, okay. Yeah. Uh, yes I'm, or I'm, no? Yes. Okay. But, okay, you say you go shopping with your wife. She got a dress on. Do I look fat in this dress? Are you going to tell her the truth? Or are you going to protect her feelings and tell her, yeah, you do? Well, first of all, I'm going to say, sweetheart, if the fact that you asked me, do you look fat in this dress, you have questionable you have questions about yourself. And that's something that we need to talk about at another time. But as far as right now, the dress looks fine. Because regardless if I say she looks fat or she doesn't, she she's going to change dresses 17,000 more times. So I'm just sitting there. And I say, but girl, you look... Uh, 
you protecting you, you, her feelings. You, you're protecting her feelings and it's your still time. It's a lie. And your time. Yes, it's still a lie, but it's you're protecting lying. her feelings. You're going to lie to your wife or your husband to protect their feelings. If your husband see, it's oh, I'm going lying. bald. Do you think I'm going bald? You think I should just go bald? Oh, if I ask somebody if, if I I'm got going the George bald, Jefferson? If, if, if I ask somebody I'm going bald, then I already know I'm going bald. <laughs> All right. uh, you know, or you tell your husband he got the George Jefferson going on. It, it's going. It's, it's it's getting back there. So who the fuck would have got a sunroof? And then no, I'm not saying nothing. If, like, he, if he's feeling, I'm like, babe, why don't you go bald? Make it. You gotta be like, oh, you'd be so sexy bald. See, you look lying. You just see, now no, you're you lying. No, you probably would be sexy bald. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, if I was to shave on my head, I'm probably a whole different complexion under here. I probably look funny as shit. My hair, my skin is probably light. I can't see it you It looks like a two, huh? I can't see you bald. But it's, I mean, like some guys is bald. You, I mean, I'm not into bald guys. I, you know, I just feel like that's a lot of sweat. You know. Mm-hmm. What? Well, what? Well, you? You've been bald? I wasn't bald. I, I cut my hair short. You were bald. I had a short cut. Don't make me pull the picture. I had a up. short cut. You, you ain't got it. You want to bet? You ain't got that picture. I, Not on this phone. Yeah, you ain't got it. Yeah. But yeah, people probably seen me with my shortcut. That's when I was in my bi curious stage. <laughs> when I thought. Did you ever leave? When I thought. Fuck you. <laughs> when, I, when I thought that I made like girls. And I was like, and I don't know. And you what, think being bald? And, and I know. Was, I didn't know. Listen, I still was learning because I was in my 20s. And we would go to the lesbian you club all the time. On your 20s, boy. We would go to the lesbian club all the time. And I don't know. I thought because of the shape I was as a woman, I had to be a stud. So, you blame a lot on your 20s. My 20s, I did a lot of shit. But I, I can say I lived in my 20s. That's why I'm comfortable to be in my home, relaxing. I don't have to hit the bar. I don't have to uh, dance on top of a fucking bar. I don't, have to, I don't have to do those things. I can actually be good in the house. Because mm -hmm. when you're in your 20s, you used to party to probably like 6 in the morning and be like, all right, bitch, drop me off at work. And you walking in mm -hmm. with your glasses on, like, good morning, can I take your How order? How many times did you do that at the job, probably? At your job? Yeah. At what the job we worked at? Yeah. I never walked in with a hangover. You lie. Like I never a, walked a in with a hangover. On no New Year's or nothing. You never walked in drunk. I would take off, you know, the next day. Not calling off because you know I ain't saying. I would already probably request it off if it was yeah, the holiday. I wasn't that's... coming in. No, I now I have come in with a, with a smile on my face. Mmm. <laughs> you see, mm. well, I would be late. <laughs> Always. This, speaking of lying, there's there's one for you about being late. Do you lie about being late? Why well, I'm late? Of course. My hair wasn't that short I though. I know. I'm messing with you. That was a fro. I look like the joint from, um, what's happening? What's happening? <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. Shirley Hemphill. <laughs> that, that, that was, I don't know. I had some I had a picture of myself, boy. I had, I had, I had some haircuts back in the day. I can't find it, I just had to figure out what I was going to do. And, I, and this is the best decision I ever made is the locks. Why is that? I don't know. It's just something that I feel like I should have been did this shit. Cause I was, for years I was contemplating it, like, do I want to lock my hair? Do I not? To be able to get up and just go, mm -hmm. and you and you can just like fluff it out a little, and it's still cute. Like, yeah, like sitting here pressing it, cause you know. Let me get the doors. I'm gonna get some man. Yeah, so like back in the day, like it, natural hair is a lot the main thing. You know, the, the washing it, then you got to straighten it, and then you got to bump it, and then wrap it. Then don't get that no water touch it or no heat. Black yeah. women don't play no water. Oh, my God. Like, That's one, one, drop, of, one, one swim? drop of water. Yes, and I can swim in my locks. But I actually, they got this new hair thing you can put in. It's like a turban joint, and you can actually, like... It's like a what? It's a turban, like a turban thing. But it's not like, like a, the... The latex cap, <laughs> yeah, and your hair won't get wet because the one thing I don't, I, if I go to swimming, I can go with my hair like this, but I probably would if I, especially if I just got it done, I don't want to mess it up, right? Because when you get it retwisted, I'm sorry, like, how much does it cost to get your hair twisted? 120. 
See? 120 a month. See, what? that's that's a lot. That's, that's a, a month. Bill. Yes, but I got to keep my hair done. You, for who? For what? What do you mean? For me! Why are you yelling? Because you know what is Why you got to get your hair cut? I don't have to get a haircut. So you can walk around wolfing. I'm a G without a haircut or with one. Why are you laughing? Ain't nothing funny. Because you fucking bald. Because <laughs> I needed to look into the <laughs> camera. Bald. I needed to look oh into the God. camera. Oh my God, you give this boy so much clout, I swear. Like, he just loved this shit, probably. What? Who are you talking about? Him, him, and, him and Henrietta. And whoever else is part of this bullshit. I don't know. Gosh, like, you over. The, the joy. You overthink things, man. No, because motherfuckers really probably thinking I'm like I'm not over, like I'm not over them. That's you are funny. over them. You just I am be over them. Relapses for no reason. It's not relapses. I don't you see it as a relapse. It's like I'm still pissed. Like so. Why? Why wouldn't I be? L. I'm a Libra, and let's be real. Libras, Here we go with the excuses. No, it's not. Excuse. Blame it on astrology. No, I'm, I'm not going to blame it. I'm a Libra, and from what I know, Libras we do not like to get played, and it's hard for us to accept. Y'all the shit. only sign that like don't like to get. No, played. we not. I'm not saying we are the only sign, but how Libras are, if we give you the key to the castle, if we give you the key to the castle. And you rob us? Mm-hmm. You you did. You did to us. You oh, you did. We gave you the key to the castle. And what's the key to the castle? Keep going. It's the cookie. Not just the cookie. It's the cookie. It's not just the cookie. What other key can you give somebody? I had gave my heart. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on. I, I, I can't. I gave my heart. That's the key to the castle, That's your heart. That's the key to the castle. Yeah, I can heart. pick that lock. But <laughs> Somebody can pick that lock, no, man. Can't. Get the hell out of here. I can't find now, a picture of me going, now, but that's good. And now I'm, I'm at a, a standstill and a point where, I, you know, I'm scared. I am. You know, because when you give somebody trust and they take advantage of it, then, you know, it, it puts you in a place where you're like, Fear is of the devil. It is of the devil, but everybody has a little fear of something. What do you fear? What I fear? Yeah. What is your top fear? Spiders? Prey mantises. Prey mantises is one of them. I yeah. do know that. Yeah. What, what can a prey man? I, I've never seen a prey mantis like choke a chick of your size or something I like don't that. Care, but they like. What can he do? What they can, can be a, big. They can be small. What they, can they do to you? It's just they creepy looking and they they, they can land on you and and do what? Oh, they just creepy. They just creepy. Well, and land on you and do what? I don't know what they'll do. They do weird little. They do a little clicky click, and and it's it's weird. <laughs> Same, oh, same thing. I don't like cockroaches either. Don't give me them brown bitches. Them, them brown bitches fast. They fast as shit. No, I don't think nobody black like <laughs> them motherfuckers. But. I, actually, I forgot to tell my landlord that. I'm like, yo, we need a spotlight on the porch because last night going out to work. The once water that, bugs. You can't do summer that, bugs. No, we had a spotlight, but now they the fucking light out. As soon as I went outside, it was like a slew of them. And then when I opened the door, they went scattered. I was like, oh, shit. Crunching much. I've been tap dancing on them like Gregory Hines. Oh my god. I've been tap dancing on them like Gregory Hines. In other words, I cannot. We got one more topic. It's mine. Let's go. One more topic. Let's go. See, I feel better. Good, because you was like shit Monday. I was. I was like shit Monday. Cause you know it's just like it was, it was a stressful weekend. I just feel like the devil was really coming after me this like, last mm -hmm. weekend. We're not gonna talk about. The yeah, no, we're gonna send in the kid. Now I feel like I gotta send in the kids. Send in the kids. <laughs> Where'd that go? Send in the kids. <laughs> it's like send in the friend. The best friend. Well, I need to the best friend. Leaves the door lot unlocked. Send in. Send the in devil. The, send in the sister. Send in the succubus. <laughs> and you fall victim to it all, all the, time. the time. And then you're like, you're erased from the board. 
but then someone comes whispers in your ear and you write the and you shit write right the shit all, all over more. again and i'm like damn you're so right Ooh, you, and then you and here you go you Tasha, i'm gonna let you go i'm gonna let you go because you need to think i'm gonna let you think you keep I'm pulling let, the dirt right back on you i'm gonna let i'm gonna let you think and i'm just like all right you probably called me an asshole. Have you hung I up didn't. The phone? I actually cried because I was like, I don't. I, I hate that I upset L. Uh, here we go with this shit. Yeah. Looks versus personality. Let's talk about it. So, as I always say, I'm gonna attack men. Go ahead. I attack men. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. People, we all we we all guilty of. We all go by look. From the beginning but then i feel like as women we tend to listen to what people tell us and hear what they say and then we're like oh wow they got a nice personality too bullshit. that's bullshit bullshit men y'all just look at titties and ass that's a lot. That's <laughs> titties a lot. and ass. like damn she got some nice so tits. you don't think it's a bunch of flat ass women walking around here with men they are, and those are the men that actually look past their looks. So you and said men. men. You, 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 you put I mean, look, all, my sister got a ring on her finger. She all, got no ass. Oh, so it's like he... So she... Yeah, she's so conscious about that. So, oh, so, so, now watch this. Okay, so you saying your sister don't got no ass, mm -hmm. but she got a ring on her finger. Yeah. So it's about her personality. No, it was about oh, that. Oh, see, That was about that sucky bitch coochie. There we go, see? That's about that sucky bitch coochie. Like, no. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Listen, that's not always true. Looks versus personality. It's not. Okay. I mean, I just feel like I will Because you, because, because you, because, so, did you cut doo-wop away based on his looks? Uh, both. He cut him off because of his looks and his personality. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just his looks. Um, but. And I, I paid for it. Oh, you probably, you, you. you he was my sugar daddy, okay? He got it's a sugar a daddy gotta be older than you. He was older than me. Oh, okay. He just didn't look it. A sugar daddy has a Cadillac. He did not drive. Okay, so you can't He be. was listening. He was a sugar, a sugar daddy, daddy, all right? He was on dialysis. <laughs> Why you got it? Oh, my God. <laughs> you sick. want to... I'm telling you, watch. Your husband gonna be... The board of Mackie, the next board of Mackie gonna be in the chair. I'm not dating anybody oh. no time soon. So. Well, well, where are you I'm just trying to you to death. Too. I'm just trying to focus on my stability. So on your who? Stability. My stability. Get my money up. Move. You know, just handle shit I need to handle for me. Before I even cause you know men can be a distraction and I ain't gonna lie. Especially if you're sexy and you smell good and all that shit. Like you could distract the bitch from doing her goals and I don't got time to be distracted. Is that a weakness, though, if you can be easily distracted? Yeah, I, I, okay. I would say that. I would okay. say it's a weakness. I have a lot of weaknesses. So you can get distracted by by pheromones or, um, I mean, a hard body, stuff like no, that. Body. So that's looks. You do that's understand that's looks. You don't mean it. Listen, 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 listen. Ladies, y'all got to stop this bullshit because y'all trying to make it all about men with looks. You mean to tell me if you see somebody on the street and you look at him and you be like, damn, he got a good person. I think he got a good person. No, I don't, you don't say that. We we see this we see the, the hoochie daddy shorts and we say, Nice. The who? The hoochie daddy shorts. They you don't they, that's the new thing now when the guys are wearing shorts above the knee now. They call them the hoochie daddy shorts. You should get a pair. <laughs> See, that's the here's the thing. Now, that's funny. Here's the, I would get a pair of Hoochie Daddy shorts, but I would be get I wouldn't be getting them to please me. I'll be getting to please you. Like damn, not Daddy you, with the Hoochie Daddy you, shorts. You know what I'm talking? Yeah. To laugh at it would be something to let my daughters would be laughing. <laughs> um, oh, wife would be laughing, and like, what the hell I would you be feeling uncomfortable. Thinking I'm, I'm thinking I, I'm out here trying to be sexy, and even you laugh. But that's the even the guys. I'm coming up in here with some short shorts. Even the guys that be sexy, they do too much. Like, why are you wearing a soft medium shirt, sir? We get it. You got muscles. Like, 
Because of people like you that's looking at it. I'm, but that, 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 no, I don't need you wearing everything fucking tight. Because the, the thing is, I don't want the sexy dude. You know why? Yeah, he's because. So adamant right now. <laughs> what? You know, whenever we strike a nerve with you, your animation comes out. You're excited. Calm down. <laughs> For Pop downstairs, come up with his sexy daddy shorts on. The 67 year old man. Calm down. Let's I don't speak. want. The sexy dude, because I, I, in my mind, I would feel like the sexy dude, he definitely got bitches. <sighs> so you want an unsexy dude? Yeah. I'm not gonna say he, he gotta be unsexy, but he's not. Know, hell, you. I thought the last dude was okay. You know, <laughs> he was about a maybe a seven. <laughs> he was. Gosh, he was an eight in your. Uh, I mean, a, a ten in your book. No, he became a ten at the beginning. I was like, he's a seven. I saw you skip down to the bus. You, how you? You never saw me. I saw you skipping. You, you hit a little pebble, almost fell. What's up? And you kept. You got the your lies. Skip. He was a seven, but but honestly, shit, he was a Mac Daddy. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't well, see that coming. Now, now, since you're on the numer numerical scale, what do you consider yourself on a on a, on a number on the number wheel? I'm a fifteen. No, I didn't say your neck size. I said it's 15 small. So don't get the 15 small. I got a 22 inch neck. So what did you get upset for? As I was saying. Yeah. I don't have a neck anyway. It don't matter. Okay. So anyway, let's be honest. No, seriously. What do you consider yourself on the scale? Um. You're very critical of yourself, so be give the, put the right number up. I when I'm a, I'm gonna say when I'm bad bitch mode, uh -huh. I'm definitely like a fifteen. On I'm a scale of one to ten? Yeah, I'm fifteen. When I'm bad bitch mode, when I'm ready to go out and I'm and, I, and I'm put mm -hmm. my put my work I in. Fucking drink on that. When I put my work in, yeah. But um, when I'm just chilling in the house, I'm gonna say I'm a, I'm a ten because I'm you know I'm a natural beauty. I don't have to do all the extra stuff. To you know, be appealing. If you don't like me for who I am, then we ain't meant to be together. That's all it so, is to it. So, in in saying that you're a ten around the house, and a fifteen when you're a bad bitch. Bad so bitch. why they not knocking the door down? Because I have I'm, standards. They don't know your standards. Yeah, I have standards, and then but they I, don't I, know your standards. I don't go out. I don't go out. You go out to go to work. Yeah, and then you know what? I'm in my my ten. And I have so that. So they should be chasing what, and, you home and, what, and what do I have that I don't want to be fucked with vibe? No, you wear. Uh, you I, wear have, I have that I don't want to be fucked with vibe. One, some days you have your I don't want to be fucked with vibe. And then some days you wear that I got to go home to these 10 kids and get help them with their homework <laughs> and uh, cook, fix dinner. Oh, well. And, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, if that your is. Your soccer mom shoes Okay, is on. well. That, that that tells me that kind of guy isn't for me anyway because he ain't he ain't looking to, Why? You're to a be 10. a stepdad. He ain't You're looking a 10, to be. Though. You, it, it's really honestly, and you know the thing that's sad more than anything else. It's see. more out. It seems like when it comes out here that it's these men out here picking who they want. It's not really the woman that's picking. We think we doing the picking. But it's really them choosing who the fuck they want. Which is why they probably got like five bitches like, hmm, she get good head, but she got good pussy. Ooh, but she buy me Yeezys. You know, it'd be some shit like that. I'd be like, which one would be better for me? You know, you know, because women, we don't know the sneaky shit that a lot of the dudes is doing. And then when the women do find out, they're like, what the fuck? What the fuck? But if y'all all tens, then why would we have to do all that? Well, obviously, he's not a 10 because he's insecure with himself, which is why he plays the fucking dumbass games he, pay, he plays. You know? I, ask me what I think I am. Where are you, Al? Infinite. <laughs> <laughs> you do I, I there believe. Is no number listen, that I can believe. Be that. I believe. I believe it. That's I believe, all that matters. I believe you believe that. That's I all that matters. It. That's what I mean. Because so if you, you don't believe fuck my, with you, me, you wouldn't have yeah, to. You, you don't believe not, my fifteen? No, I, I may believe your fifteen. You may not believe your fifteen. No, I believe my fifteen. Because the way you put it out there, you, you you put it out there like as you were getting trying to make someone believe why you gave all the reasons on why 
you were 15. And then you gave, you, you had a, 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 another ego yeah. that when you went out, you increased to a 15. Yeah. You see, I had no mid grain, no, no number, no standard, okay. or nothing to prove. Well, about, I already said I'm cru crucial myself. I said that to you. Yeah, about, but I know I am. But I was saying. You know. Infinite. Like you, like you, hey, you got some people that will show you their insecurities around you, but around other people, they the shit. So, like, you know, they have, they have an you image. You know, other people will probably don't they, think they, I'm a, they probably image. wouldn't believe that I'm infinite, but that's fine. I mean, Elle is very confident, mm -hmm. and then I, I commend him for that, you know, I really do, because, you know, I, I, I always wanted, I wish I had that. You, you can, it's, it can be achieved. And, and then I'm working on it. Believe. I've been working on and it. And you will achieve. So you, like, we talked the other day when we said TikTok helped it. Yeah. Along. Yeah. But then it, it, it got, I got into my situation. And I just fell down a couple pegs. Fell down a couple. You went from the penthouse to the basement. Oh, shit. You didn't fall down a well, couple they, beds. Well, they wanted to knock me down anyway. They 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 wanted to knock me, but but it was See, a jealousy thing. It was a it was a jealousy envy. They like to be the center of attention. They like to be in the spotlight. You had to be confident with yourself. Like and nobody want to be with nobody that's insecure anyway. God knows. Or to find out the person you with don't you like weird, you. But see, that's the thing. You can't never let somebody knock you down to where true, you true. can't. You start to lose who you are as an individual true. and have a lacking and self confidence that you know. Um, because one situation didn't go right and knock you off your square, and you forget who you are. If you believe you're a bad bitch, you don't worry about what anybody else. And, and that's something. Because nobody then, yeah. can ever call me ugly. Because I that. But we talked about this. The, this this nigga don't start with a U. Yeah, but we we. E L starts with an E. Excellent. But we talked about the traumas of dealing with you know what. Yes, but we we passed the traumas because the Why traumas are, we, are behind you. If I got, this, you know I what? get triggered you know, every you know day. What? You know what? See, this is the I problem. I get triggered every day. Every I time you play you. that clip with the dog, I get triggered. Ding, 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 ding. Don't make me. Yes. Why you is know? that a trigger? It's just music. Because the crazy thing, it wasn't just one; it was two. Two what? Two of them that kind of like played me. <laughs> and I'm just like, maybe that's something they do in their culture. I don't know. I don't you know, know. Because it's like, how can you talk to someone for six months and you never make an effort to come see them? Is this you really just you want some chat? Shit. Social media is a game. Yeah. Everybody going on with the intent to find no, but that at the end of the day, you, no, but you went out, you went out with your friends because you would post them on your story and mm -hmm. shit like that. Uh huh. But you never made an attempt to come down to see me. Right. So I had to, I had to cut that. I had to cut that off. I was like, they got, I like, I gotta be done. But and you I, was waiting for it. I mean, I was when I came back from my trip. You know, I, I got told a couple times. Oh, when I in January, we'll hang out. Then January turned to March. Then when I went on my trip, it was like when I when you come back, and then that got canceled. And then right. that, and it was always like a dumbass excuse. It was like, listen, if you can't pass the cheeks, just say that. You think this guy's cute? No, he's not my type. Oh, okay, that's my cousin. I'll let him know. <laughs> <laughs> I just say he's not my type. I'm like, okay. who the hell? He got a woman. How you know? I just saw the picture. He like, the... he like white John. A who? Spanish John. Yeah. Yeah. You always talking shit. Uh, you know, like, is... I don't break up a happy home. So. Is, can you put any more on the disclaimer when you say things? Goodness gracious, you I don't are. I don't. All right. Why you keep trying to sell it to me if you don't? Because you, you, know, you, because you keep talking about the one guy. What one guy? <laughs> you know who? I don't you, know. You, you want some tips? Talk about you were willing, dog. I was like, yeah, I was. I was. I was. Okay, so let me. I, I had to let that go. That's. I had to let that go. That ride. That, I cried. Come. All right, well, thank you guys for um, <laughs> this episode. Um, no.
that's what got your nigga stuck. Cause this back to you, he ain't gonna put his ass to sleep. Cause playing with the bitch. This is my co host. But she trying to act like she innocent, y'all. Y'all see what I mean? You see that? I am innocent. That's it. That's what she see. That's but me. that's who she need to that's, be all the time. That's me. Get out that turtle shell. That's who yeah, she need to be me all the time. To be confident but in myself. A, but the problem I have is that this shouldn't be a fantastic in Natasha. It shouldn't be. It, You're it, right. There should not be a fantastic in Natasha. There should be Tasha. A.K.A. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. There could only be one L. <laughs> oh, it's so funny, y'all. I speak the truth. There could only be one you L. You enough. You enough with that, too. What? You enough. <laughs> you know, we don't need no more L's in this world. No more. Anyway, in concluding <laughs> this episode, to my family, I love y'all. Even if y'all don't love me. They love you. To the world. Hey, kids, remember, mm -hmm. kids. next summer, I kids. mean, I said next see, summer. See, don't, don't depend next on her for nothing. Next Sunday is Father's Day. Remember. <laughs> I get a new set of golf clubs. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's a, let, let me they see. not buying you no fucking you know, golf clubs. Wait, 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 golf balls? They're going to give you something with a, a, a tie, a necktie. Give you Listen, I can't. On it. <laughs> There's nothing else that I can wear from Pittsburgh. I got everything that Pittsburgh ever made. Oh, so I got fine. What do you want? I'm not your father. I'm stuck. You're my uncle. Let me see. You're getting disrespectful. No. I was going to say stepdad, but that would mean yeah. I don't have to be. <laughs> we said godfather. Godfather. That's what it was. It was yeah. Godfather. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But what do you want? I don't know. I was gonna get you some. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, now you messed it up. Kids, it's Father's Day. Get your dad something he wants. Just How, make me and something really, to eat. And really, what he wants is quality time with you, girl. I want a hug. A, a yeah, hug a hug. Aww, Every, a hug. Every hug. Come on, that, don't get mushy. Oh no, that's sweet. Come All I want is a hug and a happy I Father's Day. There's me. nothing materialistic. That's going to bring me joy. That one of my daughters giving me a hug and saying, Dad, I love you. That means everything to me. I, that, anything else are just objects. If in the fire, that hug, don't you, you get mushy. Ew. Yeah. In the fire, that hug still stays with me. Any gift that you can get me can burn up. So, shot to not just my girls, just girls in general. If you got a dad that's in your life, man, embrace them, man. Because... A lot of men don't want to be with their kids. They can live on the same hundred block and ride right by them on the way. That's not funny. That's not funny. Man. And that's it. <laughs> they can, that's they can work at the hospital right work, work, around the corner. Right. From the <laughs> job. Not, so, no, I, I mean, we choking, but I'm, the, I'm being serious. Like, if you got a father's in your life, and understand this. We all are imperfect. Nobody's perfect out here. But if I can give you advice, don't wait till your dad or your mother, for that matter, is up at the front of that church. Mm -hmm. And they're having a ceremony for them going home to say, damn, I wish I would have gave that person more time or more love. Every day you have a, a, a new day, a new chance to say, you know what? Despite such and such, <coughs> that's my dad or that's my mom. Yeah, but like he said too, if you if you watch this and you got a dad that's in your life, honestly, if you did give him a hug and told him you loved him, mean he would it would mean everything. Even if he a piece of shit dad, because mm -hmm. what you did is bro. No, I'm serious. Even if it, it time seriously, even if he's a piece of shit dad, you're breaking a bond because he has to go home with that hug and either accept accept it. Or reject it. Now, if he rejected, it, that's on him. But you broke that seal. Yeah, but see, me, I, I just. What did I tell you about the word but? I can't. Yeah, but. You okay, but I, I can't do the hug. I can't do the hug. Can't. The last time, it just felt weird. It didn't. I didn't feel like. You know. Because you're still holding on to emotions. Remember what I said about the past behind you, and he might not be able to accept your hug. 
because he's holding on to emotion. No, he was into the hug. He was like, come here, give me a hug. See? And I was just like, mm. See? And you gave but me a cold always, shoulder. But I've always been that way. Because he never tried when I was younger. He said he would try to hug me back and, and I never gave him one. Like, I can, I can show you, literally show you a picture. The only picture that me and my dad have together. Literally. Lived with him eight years. And I got one picture. Graduation. A eighth grade graduation. Why did I know that? That's sad. Eighth grade graduation. And he, like put his arm around me and he was trying to kiss me like and I and I backed up. See why? He was trying to be authentic. No, he was trying to be fake. Cause I, I, my grandma and everybody was there. Uh -huh. You know, he was trying to be trying to be this nurturing dad that he's not. Like let's be real. She just put a spin on my father's day. <laughs> Emotions and feelings talking about her dad. But anyway, no. I'm good. Nah, like th you like this man I never seen this man. Who? No, this is like it's, it's, it's an audio Kiki Palmer. He's like, I don't know this man. If I see him on the street, I would not know who he is. I would not know. <laughs> Anyhow. But anyway, have a great one. Tune in, Spotify, YouTube, Mars vs. Venus podcast. Share it with a friend. This information might save their day or change their emotions about or piss something. somebody off i don't care. or piss somebody off because lord knows i get pissed off every episode see ya thanks